Hello, my name is Anubhav Swami and I'm technical marketing engineer working for Security Business Group. In this video, I will talk about Cisco ASA VTI solution, virtual tunnel interface or route-based VPN. Let me quickly draw my data center. In this data center, I have multiple subnets. S1, S2, S3, and all these subnets are behind ASA. And learned using dynamic routing protocol. Now I plan to extend my solution into public cloud. I have AWS infrastructure where I have my protected subnet inside. I have my workloads in this inside subnet. I have AWS route table, which is a native route table of AWS. And at the edge, I have VPN connection, native AWS VPN connection. Now I plan to extend my data center network to public cloud, I will build site-to-site -site VPN tunnel or IPsec VPN. Now, if I use a VTI solution, I will create virtual tunnel interface on the ASA. There are a couple of prerequisites. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that ASA that you have uh, on-prem should run version 9.7.1 or plus. And you should have BGP protocol running so that you can uh, rep uh, advertise your routes. The few steps on the AWS side. First step is to create customer gateway. Now, when you create customer gateway in AWS, make sure that you provide IP address of your on-prem ASA and uh, you enable dynamic routing protocol. Next step is to create VPN gateway. Once your VPN gateway is created, you should attach VPN gateway to your VPC. Once your VPN gateway is attached to your virtual private cloud, next important step is to enable route propagation. The moment you have this route propagation enabled, all the routes that you have here are learned in your AWS route table as well. So using this route table, you will send your uh, VPN traffic. So VPN traffic is based on uh, routes which are learned uh, using the VTI interface. So this is about our um, ASA VTI solution or route-based VPN. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.